What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? It's Mr. Warmack back in the building, and I'm giving you another, uh, one of my Dodd Tribes, one of my, uh, lectures, one of my talkings to, one of my shoot the breezes. And I want to talk to you today is, there was a, another question to me. What is a black liberator? Alright, here we go. Number one, there's no such thing as a black liberator. That I don't know how that became in your lexicon, but there is no such thing. And for, I'll, I'll, But I'll go off of these YouTube jokesters on here. According to YouTube, some of these jokesters, a black liberator is somebody who wants their people to uh, overcome the, tyranny, the, the tyrannical nature of uh, the tyranny, the tyrannical nature of being oppressed in America. And if you look at all these so-called black liberators, look what they've done in their lives. They're fuck-ups. <laughs> all right. Of course they say they, they think there's some oppression because they fucked up. <laughs> I mean, look at them. Look at everybody on YouTube that says that they're being oppressed. You got motherfucking motherfuckers want to be Jim Jones potheads. You got fucking crazy people. You got you got out and out losers. You got you got you got your cornucopia of fucking misfits here, and they want to lead you. And then then what gets me is it's it's the ignorant and the stupid that fall for this because you fall feel fit right in their boat. Look, man, I've done made mistakes in my life. But I know that they talking bullshit. But it's just funny when I see some of these so-called black fibulators. <laughs> they get on there, they get all preachy, and and cause, cause somebody else is being successful. Oh, you're comfortable under your oppression of your massa. And I'm like, whenever, whenever you were doing it, it was okay. But the minute you got knocked on something, and the minute your your stature came down, all of a sudden you want to play the fucking good Samaritan, huh? Don't pay none of these black fibulators any any mind because, like I said, look at look at look at the ones preaching that you're oppressed because you have a job. They're ones without a job. Is that a coincidence? It just so happens the ones that are preaching that you're comfortable with because with, you got a job or the broke ones. I mean, and, and they want you in the same broke boat. And like, look, if ask them how how are you going to eat if you quit your job? Ask them when they're going to support your family. They got no solutions whatsoever. Their solution is, oh, you're comfortable because you you got a job. Motherfucker, what do you want me to do? You got one motherfucker making his little speeches in his fucking tiny bedroom apartment. What am I supposed to do? I mean, this shit's crazy with this. It's just they talk about they talk about all this crazy shit, and like, they, and it's unrealistic too. If you if you if you actually sat down and listened to it. It's all unrealistic. They're like, rise up! I mean, come on. Now, I admit that we're, or we are, like, there are certain things we are held down on. I'm not going to lie and put that, be like, well, it's all roses over here, because I know that's true. But the fact of the matter remains, a lot of you people are taking your fuck-ups in life and hopping aboard that, that bandwagon, thinking they're going to ride you through. Oh, I've been oppressed. Like you look at the ones on YouTube. How oppressed are they on YouTube? If they can do, and they, if they can make videos on fucking YouTube, think about it. They're talking about we're comfortable because we're because we like being under the oppression of the man. Yet you're making videos on YouTube, which is owned by the man. You fucking idiots. That's why I pay these guys and women no attention because it's just it's they're laughable. And the bad part, they think they're serious. They think you're going to meet up with them so you can raise the black fist and hoorah! Like, get the fuck out of here. So all I say is you black fibrillators, just do you, alright? Peace.